At our last count, we have about 40,000 positions available here in Guilford County. Um, about 15,000 residents that are currently actively collecting unemployment benefits. But those benefits are set to expire at the end of the week, cutting unemployment checks from $600 a week to 350 That makes me very nervous. I'll be heavily affected by that, so I better get a move on it and get back into the workforce. I'm ready to go. Shane Swaim has been looking for work since January when he was let go from his job as a call center representative. My position was eliminated due to COVID. He's here at NC Works trying to build his resume and find a similar similar job. While he's gotten a few callbacks, there's still one thing holding him back from landing the job. There's still too many rural areas that don't have high-speed high internet access, and that was what impacted me. That's why I'm out of work today. The 56-year-old is hoping an employer will soon give him a chance. He's just one of roughly 222,000 unemployed North Carolinians. With thousands of jobs available, what are other reasons people aren't going back to a 9-to-5? So there is some hesitancy of re-entering the workforce there. Um, individuals are being very particular about the type of work that they're looking for. For Stephanie Pompey Rutledge, working in the healthcare industry, my hours were cut. She's been conducting temperature screenings in the health field. She's hopeful she'll either find a different job in the same industry or her full time hours will pick back up as the Delta variant continues to rage. There's so many other people out there looking for work, and I think it's just a delay with so many applications they have to process and look through.